Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, August 30, 2022. Today's transits are powerful for connecting with your intuition. A Venus Uranus alignment enlivens your interactions. You can feel happily detached from a matter that once weighed you down. Friendships can bring surprises today, or you could see a friend in a new light. It's an excellent time for exploration socially or with new ideas, dreams, and plans. With Uranus strong as it is today, it's wise to check in with yourself that you're making choices, not merely reacting. Curveballs thrown at you tend to nudge you in new directions. Those areas of your life that can do with an update are sticking out, and breaking the routine even just a little can be refreshing. You're making a scene, and your admirers are swarming. In other words, if you're going out of your way to impress a romantic suitor, don't bother. In addition to the electrifying current of Venus conjunct Uranus, let alone, the sensuality of Taurus making itself known via your socially conscious 11th house of associations, community, and individual freedom. More importantly, when considering Mercury's trine to Pluto in your relationship sector, chances are there's a significant conversation perhaps even taboo-like, taking place in the process. And with the moon in Leo, one thing's for sure, there's no taming your emotions and smoldering passions. What could change? As Venus conjuncts Uranus in Taurus today, you might feel differently about your professional network, friendships, and aspirations. Wild child Uranus is encouraging Venus to step out of its comfort zone, implying that you may entertain unlikely networking opportunities or ideas. You could begin working more closely with a unique group or association that encourages innovation. New, exciting dreams of art, money, beauty, and more could inspire you to take your professional aspirations in a new direction. Embrace any changes that could come your way since they could lead to something revolutionary. A friendly aspect to the moon over recent days has given Venus and Jupiter, the planets of money and luck a boost in support as they move through your financial sector. Until Mars returns next week to take a more proactive approach to money matters, this is helping to fuel your financial confidence and a sense of what's possible. Your energy and drive have no bounds. If you had it your way, you would do everything and at the same time. Even though your interests are varied, you should concentrate on what's relevant. Involve your friends and relations in particular. You will spend wonderful moments together, and have great memories of them. Honesty is most definitely the best policy right now. Try to make sure you open up to everyone who deserves or needs it, and they will almost certainly reciprocate. You're optimistic, willing to take risks. Self-reliance and the charm you possess gives you great confidence, if you suffer the indignity of being turned down by a potential date, this has little effect on the way you feel. There are people out there who appreciate what you offer and willing to share their love with you. The aspect of the day gives you the power to express yourself emotionally with the people you care about. Rather than wondering whether your emotions will be accepted or validated, express yourself with abandon and really let your friend know how you are feeling. It never turns out as bad as your fears tell you it will. Get your blood flowing with some aerobic exercise and try to understand what you are feeling yourself before you try to communicate it to someone else. Have courage. Welcome to the wonderful energy of a vibration. The essence from this number can see you far more competitive than usual. Further, you may notice that you are particularly ambitious today. Use this to the fullest to make some real headway in your career. You're more likely to want to get out and deal with others than usual, making it an opportune time for meetings and sales. Make some progress. You'll feel great at the end of the day with all that you accomplish. Daily Planetary Overview The new moon occurs this morning with an exact connection between the sun and moon in Virgo. Our emotions will heighten. We can expect erratic moods that seem out of our control to take hold of our hearts and minds. We all want to feel something new, but the fact is that we should apply it to our lives in a practical way that benefits our future. 
This energy can be refreshing when it comes to taking calculated risks, seeking mild adventures and applying it to inventive creative outlets. Because your mind is seeing things from a different perspective, the artist in you blossoms and wants to emerge. The caveat is that you might not be able to see situations clearly at the moment. It's advisable to take a step back from matters before reacting. The moon blocks intuition from coming to the surface, so you should rely on facts and make your decisions based on verifiable truths. Finally, we continue to celebrate Virgo this week when the new moon is in that earthy sign on Saturday. As we get ready for the upcoming lunar cycle, this is an ideal time to improve your life as the seasons change. Though make sure that the self-improvement you're doing doesn't turn into an obsession to become perfect. Your best is good enough. Just after midnight, the Virgo moon squares Mars in Gemini, stimulating agitation. This aspect has a part to play in the Virgo new moon. It encourages us to mindfully temper our emotions and reasonably manage our expectations. We must be aware of our bandwidth now. Note your personal capacity for physical exertion, intellectual boundaries, and emotional regulation. Keeping our impulses in check allows us to use our energy in much wiser ways, but at present, forces beyond our control test our patience. Immediately following this aspect's perfection, the Virgo new moon suggests setting intentions to restructure lifestyle habits that have become counterproductive to the health of our nervous system. We may be holding on to limiting beliefs regarding how much we must be doing, and how much we should be sacrificing ourselves, to be considered a productive members of society. Pushing ourselves to our physical, mental, or emotional limits is never wise, and we may have finally arrived at a point of exhaustion and frustration signaling that changes must be made. We would have a much harder time identifying the issues in need of correction if this moon was not square to Mars, provoking stress. In the darkness of the new moon, we can contemplate our healing and wellness objectives, and methods for their attainment. Sticking to detailed work without getting bogged down in tedious distractions is critical to our process now. We must be equally conscious of what we wish to manifest as what we wish to eliminate to declutter our internal and external landscapes.